Hello. I am finally back from finals in one piece. I've been very busy the last couple of weeks, so I appreciate y'all's patience with me. Today I wanted to talk about Zoe Laverne, specifically some of her past live stream clips that I've been seeing lately, because they are absolutely hilarious. If you don't know who Zoe Laverne is, she's basically a lady low cow whose primary audience is mentally ill children. She started off on Musical.ly and gained like a pretty sizable audience, but I would say her peak was probably like 2018 because that's when she was dating her boyfriend at the time who was also famous. So with their combined audience, they definitely garnered a lot of fame. Back then, teen love was super popular on YouTube, even more so than like regular couples content was in my opinion. Also, they had a combined audience of very passionate children, so the fame was pretty much instantaneous for them at that point. But throughout her whole career, which is about a decade running at this point, she has crossed off every single box on the cancel bingo card. And then when I say every box, I mean absolutely every single box. This girl has been caught lying to her fans, cheating on her boyfriend, she got caught vaping, she said the n-word, she got pregnant, she groomed someone, there's video proof. And this has all occurred throughout her entire career, so over the years the internet has really grown to hate her a bit. But I would say that most of the hate comes from a place of hilarity because for whatever reason, everything she does, the way that she responds to it, the action in the first place, it's all just incredibly comical and everybody knows that the internet loves something comical and cringe. And Zoe's way of combating any of this hate comes in the form of TikTok live streams where she basically just beefs with any child who has one bad word to say about her. And as you could probably get, some pretty funny moments have come out of these, so I thought that we'd go over some of my favorite ones and what the context were that was surrounding it. These aren't super relevant at the moment, they're kind of old, but I thought that we could revisit them in case any of you haven't seen them because I think that you'd be being robbed of a very comical experience, so I'm gonna present some of them to you today. So the first one takes place when people are mad at her for something that I mentioned earlier, which is grooming a 13 year old. Yes, she decided to respond to pretty serious grooming allegations over a TikTok live stream, which that within itself is very funny in my opinion, because what the hell? I don't think she's ever put out an official statement for anything in her entire life. I think she just goes live on TikTok, which I don't know who's letting her do that. I guess she's above the age of 18 now, so she has free reign, but I think adult services should be called because she keeps messing up. I'm not going to tell you exactly what this clip consists of. I'm just gonna let you watch it, but I I am going to remind you that here she is responding to allegations of her grooming a child. And this is what she has to say. I shouldn't even say this, but I might be pregnant right now. So I'm not trying to fight right now. Zoe, what the f do you mean you might be pregnant? People are literally accusing you of having with a 13 year old. What is wrong with you? Like you have a bunch of people being like, you're a pedophile and you're like, well, I'm pregnant. Like that soothes absolutely no one. What the f are you thinking? Like, who did you think people would think the father is? A video of you displaying a relationship with a 13 year old boy just took the internet by storm and your response is, I'm pregnant. Are you huffing paint? Just to clarify, the video wasn't like, or anything. It's just a video of them kissing, which is still pretty disturbing considering that this boy is 13 and she is almost 20. And also that fact, you're 20. Did you really think your child audience who see you as like a friend, older sister, weren't gonna be like, what the f when you said you were pregnant? Like if the whole internet is mad at you, I feel like admitting the fact that you're pregnant at 19, 20 years old is like a great way to make them way more mad at you. And I'm not trying to hate on young moms. Everybody make your own decision. Personally, I don't think you should have kids below the age of 25, but that's just me to each their own, do whatever you want. I don't care, just saying. Obviously this blew up and then she was really confused on why people were saying she was pregnant with a 13 year old's baby, but that is essentially what she told everyone. Because again, she's talking to a bunch of kids. Like it's like, 
you're getting accused of having a relationship with a 13 year old boy and now you're pregnant because she did actually admit that they had like a weird relationship going on and then their parents split them up which again you're 19 why are your parents in control of your relationships because why are you in a relationship with a 13 year old but anyways why wouldn't people think that that's his baby if you were just in a relationship with him that you admitted to so she did actually end up having the baby it turns out the baby's father was this other dude who's like the same age as her so she didn't actually actually get pregnant with the 13 year old's baby but still now they're just raising this baby together not her and the 13 year old this other guy who's irrelevant I don't know who he is never heard of him but he got Zoe Laverne pregnant the fact that this woman is responsible for molding another human being into a functioning member of society is absolutely terrifying. But anyways, that clip always makes me laugh really hard and it's just perplexing to me that people this dumb are allowed on the internet, let alone allowed to procreate. And I can't even like fathom the like putting myself in her shoes in that scenario. Like I can't imagine being like so stressed out that I'm pregnant. And then deciding to go and tell an audience of very heated 12 year olds and 12 year olds are not nice either i would rather be like raided in front of a rumble chat than put on the spot in front of a seventh grade homeroom so i just genuinely can't understand what she was thinking and i that definitely did not help the state of her pregnancy okay so this next one is super funny and again i'm just gonna let it play and i'll see you when it's done yes i was vaping Okay, I was vaping next to my daughter, okay? Yes, I understand it looks wrong and the pe the person that posted it made a whole fake ass story to it. First of all, I'm a whole adult. If I wanna vape, I will vape. That is my decision. So I don't know why that's so bad um, for some of you to, but I understand because you think that I'm like blowing it in her face or something because that's what people are saying, but that's not the case. Um, I zero it when I'm next to Emerson and never blow it out when she's next to me. I zero it, which zeroing means that you don't blow smoke out. You zero it. So as you can see, this clip is absolute gold. Zoe Laverne getting caught vaping in front of her baby is peak comedy, if you ask me. And the way she goes on to like defend her personal autonomy as an adult makes it even funnier as if that's what people are like even mad at. Like she looks like the human embodiment of sour apple nicotine. So I don't think anyone was that surprised to learn that she vapes. I think it's more of the fact that she was doing it while she was literally holding her child. And to be honest, I don't really care whether she was or not. I highly doubt that she was like blowing smoke directly in the baby's face. So as long as she wasn't doing that and like the smoke wasn't like getting into her baby, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. The part that's crazy to me is that she did this in front of someone, that someone being an internet user who was capable of exposing her. And my question is why the f would you vape in front of your baby if you knew someone was watching you? Despite it being ultimately harmless or not, I don't think vaping in front of your baby will ever be looked at as not a bad thing. <laughs> so I just, it really, like leaves me on how she thought that it'd be a good idea to do this in front of anyone's eyes other than her own. And Zoe Laverne will get chewed up for absolutely anything she does. And most of the time it's warranted cause she's stupid, but she definitely doesn't have any room to like be doing like little ups like this like I have no idea what she thought would happen and not only are there a bunch of people mad at her there's also a bunch of people like me who just think it's really funny and people like to share funny things on the internet so pretty much anything what Zoe Laverne does just blows up and then she gets confused when people are mad but like girl you literally vaped in front of your baby and then went on TikTok live admitted to it word for word and then are confused on why it's a big deal because you zeroed it she just has zero zero concept of damage control whatsoever like usually admitting something word for word isn't like the best way to defend yourself i just don't get why she keeps individually interacting with fans because this isn't the first time like her fans have exposed her private information she's always been known to keep in very close contact with some of her fans and I'm honestly surprised it hasn't come back to bite her even harder. Her ex-boyfriend exposed her for being on FaceTime with her fans all day, every single day. And I'm surprised that no one has like 
focused on that specifically and like gotten her in trouble for it because that's really weird. Usually people don't like influencers being friends with their fans. Especially literally since the fact that she groomed someone. Like I don't think that this lady should have very close contact with minors, you know? She's just completely incapable of making any good decisions regarding her career which is unfortunate for her but it's fabulous for the rest of us. Okay, so this last clip is also based around discourse regarding her parenting skills. Roll the clip. Remember when you asked people to buy pics of her? Okay. I can't believe I have to like talk about this again. Okay, so the reason why that was done, um, which she was fully dressed in, because people were like making it seem like making it act like she wasn't, was because her NICU bill, she had to be lifelined um, to a, another hospital when she was born, and, um, she had to go in the NICU, and her NICU, the NICU bill was a lot of money, and, yeah, so, that's what happened with that. Yes, you heard that right, that little baby <laughs> is sponsoring her own NICU bill for her own birth because her mother is selling pictures of her for the money to pay for that NICU bill. And she's like, it's no big deal, she was closed. Well, like, I hope so. And as if that's even, like, half of the problem. Like, you are using your baby as human merchandise to fund her own birth. <laughs> I feel like we have reached a point on the internet and in society in general where everybody knows that it's really not a good thing to profit off of your child, especially if that includes exploiting them to the vast audience of the internet. Like, you should not be relying on a child to get your bills paid. It's a very scummy thing to do. That child did not ask to be in the world. They're not responsible for anything of yours. Like, maybe take accountability and get a job, even though I know that you probably think you're too good for the working class because- I'm so many fucking Laverne and I am literally the star of TikTok. But if that TikTok check isn't cutting it, it might be time to find another source of income and that does not include selling pictures of your baby. And like, who do you think are buying those photos? Because I'll tell you one thing, 10 to 12 year olds do not have money to be spending on pictures of Zoe Laverne's baby. No one's mom is gonna pay for that. No kid for Christmas is gonna be like, hey dad, I want a picture of Zoe Laverne's baby. And the fact that she's clothed brings comfort to literally no one because literally Ren Eleanor's TikToks get hundreds and thousands of saves and it's not as if her mom's posting her naked. She's fully clothed in all of them, but creeps are still gonna fucking save it because any access to a child is access to a child and you dangled it in front of their faces, Zoe, when you put your child behind a paywall. And to address this again, she goes on TikTok Live, admits to it word for word and is then like, why do you guys not like my explanation? I needed money. It's just perplexing to me that someone in 2024 who exists on the internet is like, I need money. I'm going to sell pictures of my baby. But yeah, those are all the clips that I have for you guys today. I hope they made you giggle because they sure did make me giggle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry I was gone for so long. Again, like I said, I had finals and it was actually pretty important that I did well on the finals and then I got busy with a bunch of other stuff and I just didn't really have a moment to like sit down and make a YouTube video. In case anyone was wondering, I managed to get an A on all of my finals except one of them, I got a B plus, but at least my absence was not gone to waste. For me, at least. <laughs> Also, while I was gone, we hit 900 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy to me. I never thought that I would get a channel to go this far. Um, I really cannot thank you enough. It's like completely unfathomable. Hopefully now that I have a break from school, I'll have more time to make videos. I really enjoy doing it. Reading your guys' comments literally makes all of my days. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I hope you're having a great start to your summers. Subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye!